because she was practicing gymnastics all the time. And she was ending every routine with Malsakova's special wink. Alice would only eat Malsakova's favourite foods and left-handed, just like Malsakova. This is borscht, Malsakova's favourite beetroot soup. Want some? Uh, maybe next time. Oh no, it's so hard eating with my left hand like Malsakova because I'm right-handed. Whoops! <laughs> <laughs> Is that a Marsakova thing? Snapping your fingers? Yes, it probably makes your fingers stronger. Now for dessert. According to Marsakova, a boiled potato a day keeps you feeling okay. Ugh. Hmm. This would taste better mashed. La 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 la. Soon. Alice was constantly singing Russian folk music. It's the birch tree, a Russian folk song from Mausko. Mausakova loves to do gymnastics to it. That is such a pretty song, Alice. <laughs> oh, we'd better get going or we'll be late for dance class. I'll be a teeny bit late. I've got to finish my potato so I can be as healthy as Mausakova. <laughs> There goes that wink again. Keep going, dancers. Wonderful work. We get to dance to the birch tree. You're late, Alice. Sorry, Ms. Mimi. I had to fit in a little gymnastics. Mousikova says you're only as good as your last cartwheel. Or your last grand jeté. If you want to perform at the assembly, you'll have to be on time for practice. Right, Miss Mimi. I won't be late again. I'll be as good as Mousikova. Really? Truly? Maybe someday you'll be famous like her and win gold medals. And travel all over the world and have fans. Will you have time to dance with us and come over to my house? Absolutely. She's going to try a very difficult move. Will she be able to do it? But what does the judge say? A perfect score! <laughs> Thank you everyone for your support, especially my best friend, Angelina. <laughs> Girls, it's time for Alice to leave for her ice skating practice. Already? But she just got here. Don't worry, we'll plan another get-together soon. Alice is my very best friend, but now that we go to different schools, we barely ever see each other. And that's no fun at all. Someone to share my dream with, someone to taste ice cream with. I'm glad I've got a friend like you. Someone to face each day with, someone you feel okay with. And I want you to know, I'm your friend too! I'm going to invite my neighbour Jason. Oh, I can't make up my mind. Hmm, Emily or Naomi? Oh, no, oh. Jules! <laughs> oh, wait, Leah! I know exactly 
who are you going to invite to be my guest at the concert? Hi, Angelina. How was your day? Hi, Mum. Can't talk now. Hello? Alice, it's me. Will you be my special guest at our school concert this Saturday night? We're performing a fun new dance. Oh, wow! I'd love to come! Stupendous! But there's one problem. <gasps> My ice skating show is on Saturday night, too. <gasps> oh, no! I know. And I wanted you to come to my show. <sighs> I really wish I could see you ice skate. And I really wish I could see you dance. <sighs> well, I'll tell you next time I have a concert. Bye, Alice. Bye. There just has to be a way I can see Alice's show. Hmm. Woohoo! Nice one, Alice. Angelina! I didn't know you could do a spin on ice. You mean this? It's called a double axle. Wow! That looked a bit like this ballet move. A tour en l'air. Ice skating is so much like dancing. Except for one big difference. It's dancing on ice. <laughs> <laughs> I really wish you could see me perform tonight. Well, stop wishing because I thought of a way we can both see each other's shows. You did? That's great! Whee! <laughs> but how? Since my show starts first, you can come with me to see it right now. Then after, we'll rush back here. In time for my show! Of course! We'll make it if we hurry. Okay! And Angelina, guess what? Alice? You're not leaving before you practice your footwork, are you? Um, no, coach. Of course not. Angelina, what if I finish my practice first and then meet you at your concert? OK, but hurry. Oh, what were you going to tell me? No time now. I'll tell you later. Meet you at Camembert. Right. See you soon. OK, coach. I'm practicing my footwork. Very quickly, if I'm going to make Angelina's concert. Oh, oh. That might have been a little too fast. Oh, they're so amazing. Miss Mimi's going to love them. She really will. This is the most wonderful present ever! Thank you! It was Angelina's idea! Angelina! 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 Huh? huh? What? The lady in Twinkletoes said the slippers are made of satin and somebody sewed them <gasps> by hand. But we don't have enough money. But we need to get Miss Mimi a great present to show her how much we love her. We need a present and we don't have much time left. <gasps> Wait! Those ballet slippers were made by hand. And all of us have hands. We would just need some satin. Oh, Mum has satin in her sewing basket. We, we can, can make, make the, the slippers, slippers ourselves. ourselves. Yay! <laughs> Isn't that Marco's song? It is! It keeps popping into my head too! <laughs> Mum, where's the thread and ribbons? In the sewing cupboard. And how long before Miss Mimi's party? An hour and a half. Oh, yes! <laughs> <laughs> I love your song, Marco. You're a wonderful composer.
<laughs> Thanks, Mrs. Mouseling. A tutu instead. A tutu? Angelina, I forgot. Mum wanted you to know the cake's all done. <gasps> Miss Mimi's cake! Oh, I hope it's really big. Well, it's pretty, but I think it needs to be bigger. A lot bigger. We need a really big cake to go with our special birthday present. Vicky, help me make more cake. I'll help, I'll help. You can help me make the tutu. I can. Whoa! Add some more muffins. Squash them in. Can you please put a few more muffins in, Vicky? Thanks. And we'll need a lot of icing. Coming up. <clears throat> Sort of lost control. <gasps> uh oh. <gasps> oh! Whoops. She's amazing, all right. I want to tell you about a girl, but there's so much to say. I know that when she's around, the fun's not far away. Vicky. Mm, welcome. And of course, Marco. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everybody. So, what are we playing? You can pick something. Oh, okay. Um, how about. I know. Let's play school. Yes. Um, okay. <laughs> We'll be the students, and you can be the teacher. School time! Um, Alice, I mean teacher, at our school the bell doesn't go clang, clang, clang. It goes ding, da, ding, ding, ding. She's right, like this. Oh, OK, thanks. Everybody sit down, please. Good morning, class. Good morning, Miss Alice. Who wants to take the register? Gracie? Oh, you forgot something. Forgot what? <laughs> Why, the silly morning stretch, of course. At Camembert Academy, the first thing we do every morning is... Stand by our desks and stretch to the sky like this. Huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, everybody up and stretch. Uh, but then we bend way over and touch our fingers to our toes. Okay, now 
touch your toes. Oh, and then we give our bodies a big shake, shake, shake. <laughs> Shaking is fun! <laughs> oh, Miss Alice! Stretch time is over! It is? Okay then, let's all take our seats and... Yes, Marco? After the stretch, we always do the school handshake. Oh, the school handshake? Now do we take the register? Why, that's up to you, Miss Alice. You're the teacher. <gasps> story time, class. Huh? Story time? Before dance studio? At Camembert, we usually have story time after lunch. Hmm? Oh. Uh, Miss Alice is right. At our old school, we had story time in the morning before break. We could do it that way. All right, let's try it. Sounds good. <sighs> Class, today I thought I'd read you my favourite story. Goldilocks and the Three Crickets. Crickets? Pirouette left, pirouette right. Now what are they doing? The camembert cheer. Tap your toes with all your might. It's not fair. I was reading my story. I know, but... Camembert kids never stop! It's my turn. <gasps> Our playtime is not going well. Oh! Stupendous, Alice! You can do all the steps I make up, even the really hard ones. Alice, Alice and, and Angelina, Angelina, friends forever! forever. to be my partner in the showcase tomorrow. It will be our first time dancing together at your new school. We have to be extra good. I have an idea. What if we end our dance with a twirl? Or a leap? Or a cartwheel? Actually, I've made up all the steps for our dance and a cartwheel is not in it. Oh, okay. Hi, girls. I came up to have a peek at your new dance. Here's a few of the steps I made up. Nice choreography, Angelina. Choreography? A choreographer creates a dance like an author creates a story. Wow! I love being a choreographer. And I know dancing makes little girls very hungry. Yes, I'm hungry. I've brought you some lovely sandwiches. Now I'm off to check on Polly. Thanks, Mum. Thank Mom. you. Poor Polly's in bed. She has the sniffles. My dad says almost everybody in Chipping Cheddar has the sniffles. But we don't. So we, we can, can dance, dance and dance. Yes! Bye, Alice. See you tomorrow. This will be the best dance with a partner showcase ever. I love to spring. I love to hop. I love to flip. I cannot stop. I love to... Uh, uh, oh no! 
I practiced all last night. You'll remember it, Alice. Oh, what if I forget the words to my poem when I'm in front of the whole class? Hey, Angelina and Alice. Don't be late. Let's go. You can practice in dance class. Look down, Alice. It's time to catwalk. What a cool name for a dance step. It's a jazz dance step. Now, everyone, stand straight as a pencil. <laughs> Let's do a few catwalks and then spin around like a pencil. just two jazz steps. There are a lot more. I want to learn all the steps. Oh. Today we'll concentrate on a fun part of jazz, improvisation. Like in jazz music, you can take the tune and play it your own way, right? Exactly. Once you know some of the basics, you can make up your own dance. <laughs> Hooray! Let me give you the steps now. Catwalk. Pencil turn. And a van kick. And jump over a log. <laughs> now you can put the steps together in your own way. I'll go first. Now everyone, improvise! Come on, Alice. Let's jump over a log. Excellent! Yes! <laughs> we'll do more jazz dancing next class. Hooray! Yes! Thanks, Ms Mimi. Now it's poem time. <gasps> oh, no. I want to recite my poem first. I'll be second. I love to spring. I love to hop. I love to flip. I cannot stop. I love to... No, I forgot it again. Butterfly. <sighs> Alice, are you all right? My tummy feels a little funny. Oh dear, do you need to see the school nurse? <sighs> I don't feel sick, just my tummy feels funny. Alice, you weren't in class to recite your poem. I didn't want to forget the words in front of everyone. Because of poem day? We have to stand in front of the whole class and recite our poems all by ourselves. See this butterfly? It reminds me of when I used to get worried before my performances. It does? Yes. Sometimes I would get tummy butterflies. Huh? What? Oh. 
butterflies? Hmm? Tell me, but I don't understand. It's when your tummy feels funny, not sick. But like it's got fluttering butterflies inside. I think I have tummy butterflies right now. I've had tummy butterflies. So have I. Me too. When I get scared, it helps me to talk louder. When I have to stand up in front of everyone, I just pretend they're all in their pyjamas and their hair looks funny. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what kind of flowers squirrels give each other on Valentine's Day? Um, I give up. Forget me nuts! <laughs> <laughs> Where's the rest of the team? They're not practicing until later. All right, I'll get my skates on. You won't need hmm? skates. Skates will make it too hard to carry the heart. Heart? What heart? Here's how I'm dancing to your song. My song? Yes, we wrote a brand new love song for you to uh, sing at the hockey game. The song is so beautiful and romantic. And the words are going to make it even better. It's going to be the best hockey break performance ever. Uh, uh, oh, oh. And the mouseling from Costa Mouser ruins the game by singing an embarrassing lovey dovey Valentine's Day song. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! I'm wounded. Put me on the injured list. I'm just... Whoa. Really, really cold. You seem all right to me. I can't stop thinking about the big hockey game. When Marco sings, I'll put my hand over my heart so everyone will know it's a love song. Those flowers give me an idea. We can wear them in our fur. Huh? <laughs> and around our huh? necks and on our skates. Marco, uh... you can wear flowers all over too. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't think I can. I'm, um, achoo! I'm allergic! Achoo! Achoo! Huh? But Marco, those flowers are on the inside of the shop window. Uh, well, where there are flowers, there are bees. Uh, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Not to worry. <laughs> there won't be bees. Alice and I practice all day. We're so good at dancing together that we look like the same mouseling. to practice? Um, you know, I was thinking that instead of singing a love song, maybe I could do a drum solo. Huh? I could play one of your dad's congas. Well, we could give it a try. Mm-hmm. Ready? Let's go. Drums, Marco, but we really want to skate to something romantic. Hmm. I understand. Mm. Oh, how about the tuba? Uh, Dad, 
Are you using your camera on Saturday? No, I don't think so. Great! So could you be there at the marathon to take a photo of Marco when he comes in first? Ah. Oh, come on, please. You are the best photographer in all of Chipping Cheddar. Oh, um, OK. <laughs> I guess I could do that. Stupendous! Look, everyone. I can run like Marco. Could you make some flags for everyone to wave along the route? Please? Thanks, Mum. Excuse me, everyone. I need to go upstairs and work on my cheerleader routine. What's a cheerleader routine? Running hard, he'll go far. Marco, Marco, rah, rah, rah! What are you doing, Angelina? I'm a cheerleader. I'm making up some cheerleader chants for my cheerleader team. Can I be a cheerleader, Angelina? It's not easy, Polly. We have to put on a really good show to support Marco when he runs in the marathon. I can do it, I can do it. All right, Polly. Just copy what I do. Okie dokie. M-A-R-C and O. Marco, Marco, watch him go. Hooray! <sighs> That's hard. Being a cheerleader is hard, Polly. There's dancing and gymnastics, not to mention the chanting. What is chanting? Well, a chant is a bit like a poem and a bit like a song. It rhymes, but instead of singing the words like this, He's amazing, he's a star. You say them to a rhythm. Like this. He's amazing, he's a star. He's our hero, rah, rah, rah. Put the chanting with the dancing and you've got yourself a cheer. North and south, east and west. We love Marco, he's the best. Backwards, forwards, up and down. Marco Mouse, the best in town. That's great, Polly. So tomorrow is Lend a Poor Day. It's a day where you help someone out who really needs it. So I want you all to split into groups and find someone you can help out. Yes, Angelina. Some of us could help Mrs Thimble at the store. She's hurt her wrist. Yes, and I heard her say she had lots to do in the shop this weekend. I'll help too. Perfect. That's one very good Lend a Poor project. Now... Oh, oh, sorry I'm late, Miss Mimi. Hmm. Oh, I've been learning about disco dancing. Hmm. Oh, oh it's the best thing ever. <laughs> Where did you hear about disco dancing, Gracie? Oh, I saw it in an old film at the weekend. <laughs> I love it. Ah. It's good that you found a new form of dance, but you mustn't let it get in the way of being on time for school. I was just telling everyone about Lend a Poor Day. Don't worry, Gracie. You can join us. We'll tell you all about it at lunchtime. So, that's the plan. We'll meet at Mrs Thimble's store as soon as it opens. Mrs Thimble is going to be so happy. And maybe we can do some disco too. Disco music is great. You know it came from jazz and rock. Oh, and Latin music too. It's got a really strong steady beat, so it's easy to dance to. Uh, coach? Hi, Angelina. I'm looking forward to your big performance. Me too. But I have a favour to ask first. Could be really good to mark a So impressed in my imagination, the huge crowd roars, he shoots, he scores. 
But you wanted me to sing, not to fly down the wing, to show a different kind of heart. You, you and me, together we are the way good friends should be. You and me, eternally, the way good friends should be. like the music. I was so afraid they wouldn't, but I was wrong. This music is amazing. Hooray! Hooray! Wait, where are you going? And now as a special Valentine's Day surprise, that amazing mouseling from Costa Mesa will take the first shot of the period. Your song was fantastic. The whole team loved it. Are you going to be a princess? A fairy princess. Actually, a fairy who becomes a princess because I'm the best dancer in the magic forest. Magic forest? Fairy princess? Can I be a prima ballerina too? Sorry, Polly. Only one dancer gets to be the prima ballerina. But maybe when you're big like me, you can be in the corps de ballet. Corps de... Huh? <laughs> corps de ballet. That's what we call the dancers who dance together in a group. So many new words. That's because there are so many different kinds of dancers. Counting can be fun Let's begin a song with number one The numbers two and three come next in line And soon you'll see that the magic has begun Number four, to move it right along The next position in our counting song And then the number five will bring your ballet shoes alive Places everyone for every ballerina Just before they point a toe must know their numbers one, two, five. And with these five positions, you'll be ready for the show, and your ballet will come to life. Let's count together one, two, three, four, five. Prima ballerinas too? I'm the only prima ballerina, but Gracie has a solo and Alice dances with a partner. How about Vicky? Vicky's not going to dance because she wants to paint the scenery. Like painting pictures? Mm-hmm. Really big pictures. Oh, that's what I want to do. And this is Polly's growing music. It goes up higher and higher. Polly hopes the music will make her do the same thing. Go up, up, up. I'm a big mouseling now. Please measure me. <laughs> um, am I a lot taller? Well, actually... <gasps> oh, Polly, you're growing. You just can't tell yet. But I want to be taller now. Polly's still having growing troubles. And now we're having baby mouseling troubles. I say we try Goldilocks and the two mouselings again. It just doesn't work with the music. We need somebody for that super-duper high-pitched music. But nobody could do it, remember? We've been rehearsing forever. Time to get home and do our homework. All right, let's try to work something out tomorrow. 
Come on, Angelina. Mum is taking us to the library before we go home. Polly, let me see you dance over to the tiny bed. <laughs> now dance back to the side of the stage. <laughs> Stupendous news! I found the perfect baby mouseling. She's much smaller than all of us, and she's been practicing hard and already knows the part. Everyone say hello to my little sister Polly, our new baby mouseling. <laughs> I got to play baby mouseling because I was the only one little enough. You both did a beautiful job. I'm so lucky to have two lovely dancers for daughters. Ow! My feet! They hurt! Maybe you've been dancing too much. Have a seat and finish your dinner. They still hurt. Did anyone step on them? Did you jump on something hard? Let me take a look. Ow! What? What is it? <laughs> it's your shoes. They're too small for you. My feet grew! Wow, my feet grew! <laughs> <laughs> Measure me too. Pretty, please. Let's see. You've grown... Mm, just a tiny wee bit. But I want to be tall. Don't worry, you'll get taller. It just takes time. I want to be tall now! We're so grown up that we're doing a ballet pantomime of Goldilocks and the two mouselings on our own, without Miss Mimi. Only two mouselings? Yes, Alice is our director. I want to be in Goldilocks. Not yet, Polly. You're too young. You need to be older. Look! I could never reach up here before. Now I can finally put the milk on the top shelf. My little mouseling isn't so little anymore. I'm a big mouseling too. Measure me, I'm getting taller. You're getting stronger, that's for certain. Looks like you're the same height as yesterday, Polly. You're going to grow taller soon, Polly. I promise. But I want to be taller right now! Ah, let's see. The dishes are done, the bin is empty, there's nothing to knit. Whew! I can finally sit down and enjoy some peace and quiet. Ah. Polly! <laughs> so much for some peace and quiet. I have really big, exciting news. We're having macaroni and cheese for dinner? No, Miss Mimi is getting married. But I love macaroni and cheese. Miss Mimi is getting married? <gasps> to whom? Mr Chirpy Face. It's a strange name, but nice. Hmm. I've never heard of him. What does getting married mean? When two people love each other so much they want to spend the rest of their lives together, they get married. Um, like you and Daddy? Yes, dear. So when is Miss Mimi getting married? It's tomorrow. Tomorrow? Why didn't she tell us? She said it was no big deal. But it is, right? Yes, it's a very big deal. I knew it! We need to make sure Miss Mimi has everything she's supposed to have on her wedding day. That's right. Yes! So, what are you supposed to have on your wedding day? Well, she needs a lovely wedding cake. Could we bake one, please? I'm sure she has one. No, she said she didn't have time. Then she'll need flowers, too. I have a flower in my pocket. She can have it. Oh, it broke. I know, I'll glue it. 
So, a wedding cake, wedding flowers. What else do we need? I know. Let's do a special wedding dance for Miss Mimi. That can be our gift. Let's see. We can start with a padasha. Or maybe an arabesque. Remember, Angelina, we need something old, something new, but not something broken. Sorry, Mum. What kind of music do they play at weddings? That might help us sort out what kind of dance to do. They usually play wedding music on an organ. Then we'll do a dance to organ music. Yes! Hooray! What's an organ? It's like a piano. But it makes a different sound. What happens is, organs make music when air whistles through their pipes. So instead of going plink, like a piano, they go hmm. <laughs> Organs have foot pedals, like giant piano keys. Both hands, both feet. Playing an organ is a lot of work. <laughs> but where are we going to get an organ? Your father's music shop. He has some organs there. Go and visit him. He'd love that. Thanks, Mum. Bye. I'll start baking the wedding cake. After a few moments of peace and quiet. <laughs> 